just about ready for tip-off in the 88th all-time meeting. Tennessee leads it 77 to 10 all-time. And this place is rocking, and here we go from Knoxville. It is Tennessee basketball off the opening tap. See how the Lady Vols respond after that double overtime loss on Monday against Mississippi State on the road. You can already see Vanderbilt playing that pack in defense. That's what they like to do. Rakia Jackson doing a great job early on attacking that defense. So Jackson gets the first bucket of the game. She had 23 in that first matchup. Around a screen, Gerard. One of the top three point shooters in the nation misses a two pointer here. Horston, full throttle, spin move. This is the opening attempt. Jackson nearly tracked down the offensive board, but that was one of the things that Kelly Harper talked to us about earlier today. In that Mississippi State game, Harbison pulls the trigger and gets a friendly roll. She's tough to stop in transition once she gets that momentum rolling. She is. Walker fires the inbound of Jordan Horston. She gets a free throw line, jump shot, and connects. Beautiful shot from Jordan Horston. Bella Lachance pushed into this role with injuries to Jordan Cambridge and Ayanna Moore. Cambridge, one of the best defenders, and Moore an all-freshman team pick last year. But another turnover. Horston sprinting. Left block. This time she converts. Great job by Jordan Horston. You can see right there, Vandy, there was a little bit of miscommunication. You had two players back, but they were trying to figure out who to pick up. Situations like that, you just got to find, find and stop the ball. Gerard, two-point shot, kick connects. Gerard leads the SEC in his 13th in the country in three-pointers made, 69 this season. She gets a glimmer of space. She's going to connect. Walker the other way. She puts in the layup. Gerard, she thrives in big moments. That's what she likes to do. She likes to kind of be the center of attention in, in those bigger games. Here she is with it, the grad student. She transferred from Boston College. Allen, straight away three pure for 34% shooter this season. She really wants them to focus on being possession by possession. She doesn't want them to look too far ahead. She said that really allows them to kind of concentrate on what's in front of them. Forcing a turnover here and a chance for the first lead of the day. Harbison. Allen just hit one from outside. She hits again. But right now, she's the go-to player on that arc. Horston trying to put an end to a little drought for Tennessee. Jackson wide open underneath. Wow. Puts you, in the layup. You have to give Stripling credit for that assist. She was able to hold her defender off, which gave Jackson an open layup. Tied at 10. Good start to this one midway through the opening period. Jackson gets a piece. Loose ball. She gets there. Takes it herself for the left. She started with the defense and finishes. She saw Walker wide open, but she said, you know what, it's a little too late. Washington, a deep jump shot. And that's smooth from the sophomore. You can see when Harbison drives into the paint, she really attracts that Tennessee defense. She really does a good job of making them pick her up. And she's able to just hit her open teammate for an open look. Lachance gets called for a foul. Already won 80 games for the Lady Vols and Jordan Walker at the line. And she puts Tennessee back on top. What have you seen out of these two groups through the first six minutes? I'm really excited to see how Vandy came out early on and just kind of established, you know, their presence and how they want to play this game. They're being aggressive, attacking the basket, and they're, they're hitting down threes, and that's just such a good sign for Vanderbilt. Harbison travels. And a turnover for Vanderbilt. Ten on the shot clock. Post entry, Hollingshed again. This time goes to work quicker. Draws two defenders. Missed the opening attempt. Taps it back in. Stick to itiveness from the Georgia transfer. We might not have size, depth, and, but she doesn't want the team to focus on that. She said what they have is all that they need to be successful. Hollingshed misses the foul shot, but she gets her own miss. Walker cuts. Excellent pass underneath. Adding to their point tally as Tennessee has scored the last six in less than a minute. 
Harbison can put an end to that in a hurry. She goes right at Hollingshed. Skilled and just a tough player. Take a look at the SEC ranks. Number one in minutes, two in points, and steals five in assists. And Coach Brown, pow, puck it in transition. Too strong. Two minutes to go in the opening period. Gerard, free throw line, jump shot. Rattles it down. Hollingshed loses the basketball. Third turnover for Tennessee. And an opportunity to tie or take the lead for the Commodores. Demi Washington, her first action. Misses the shot. Hollingshed affected it, and they call a foul. It's the second personal foul on Hollingshed, so she comes out of the game. And does so. 18 apiece. What Coach Roth wants them to do is play it possession by possession. You can't hold on to the last play. Tennessee's going to get foul shots here on the fifth team foul. Misses the first foul shot. Franklin misses a pair. Vanderbilt an opportunity to take the lead, having scored six in a row. And they're going to the free throw line. Gerard picks up a foul. And an 81% foul shooter will get a chance to increase this 6 0 burst. Gerard misses the first. But Vanderbilt is back on top. So it's 19 18 at the one minute mark. Jackson. And a foul whistle. Hold on. What Coach Ralph wanted to do was ultimately build trust. They discussed playing without fouling. Coach said that she understands how much they need her on the floor. Under a minute to play in the opening period, and this has been a good one. Tennessee has dominated this all-time series. In fact, 15-0 under Kelly Harper against in-state foes. And more free throws coming up. Washington makes a pair. Good start scoring wise for the Commodores. Jackson working against Washington. Fall away, one foot shot. Rakia Jackson showing off all of her skills now. Great move by Rakia Jackson. The little step back one to action. Five seconds to go. Harbison. One second left, the chance at the buzzer. Just whisked it wide right. And it was an entertaining opening 10 minutes. We've been tied six times. See how Vanderbilt comes out in the second quarter. This is when Tennessee was able to get a little separation in the first meeting. La chance misses a driving layup. Darby. Double dribble called on Tess Darby. What do you think about this change coming out of the break? I think it's good for Tennessee to switch it up and kind of see because Vandy, they were doing a good job off of those ball screens right here, Washington being able to knock down the three. Stripling at the high post. Jackson has it poked through her hands by Chambers. Harbison, Gerard, an open look. Perfect from outside. Tennessee looking to snap this mini drought. I mean, not scored in the first two minutes of the quarter. Horston takes care of business all by herself with a teardrop. That was a tough basket from Jordan Horston. Harbison hangs, puts it up. Thought she got fouled. Horston is there to grab the glass. She's starting to take over on both ends. Jackson draws the foul. If you're Tennessee, you want to attack Vanderbilt. They only have eight players that they can rotate. Jackson makes a pair. Harbison uses the screen. Misses the jumper, though. Foul whistled underneath. Demi Washington is called for the personal. Vanderbilt is known for kind of shifting their defense around. They know that they're undersized. Tennessee is going to have that interior to their advantage today. 
has Darby able to knock down the three. That's a good sign. You also want them to be able to knock down the three. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt down. taking advantage. They love that, that high ball screen action. They don't have that size on the inside, so that's not what they want to do is drive the ball and score over Tennessee. They want to shoot over them. Good luck underneath, and Striplin puts it in. Jada Brown, she pulls the trigger from three, misses it. I see a chance to expand a one-point lead. Puckett. scoring run and the Lady Vols are ahead by a four-point margin pocket patient from deep she converts and Tennessee leads by four can the Lady Vols keep it from Tennessee back into that matchup zone they sprinkled it in here in the second Lachance penetrates stumbles and a foul is whistled and the fans do not like that call Good job by the chance to attack and was able to almost get an open look before the foul. It looks like he steps on the shoe with Powell. And that's where the foul's called. There are three guards all over 80%. Brooklyn Miles in the game for the first time. Stripling again. Going right at Washington. Good patience again. And the left hand shot goes down. Great job by Strickland. Taking advantage. She's posting up hard. She's demanding the ball. She knows that Washington can't afford to get in foul trouble. So I like that Tennessee is looking to get the ball inside. It's Harbison at the high post. Dropping it off for Washington. Layup and one. Washington misses the foul shot. She has four. And we're tied. Or it's a two-point game, rather, at 35-33. Striplin will show the mid-range game here. Offensive rebound, Darby, and she puts it back down. Darby! Gerard draws a foul. A little bit of a surge, went up nine at halftime. Built it out to 18 in the third. This is a much improved Vanderbilt team, as you would expect for a group that is Still growing with the transfers. They're responding so well right now. They're not letting Tennessee get ahead by too much. They're just taking it possession by possession. That's the type of game that they want to play. But when that second half comes, that's going to be the real response. Down there at the bottom, second to last in the standings entering today. Tennessee, conversely, they're a late quarter close away from potentially beating LSU a couple weeks ago. They're a double overtime game away from beating Mississippi State last week and being within a game of first place. That's what Vanderbilt's always been known for. I just remember playing them. It's always been a tough game. They not have, they never really been on the top of the SEC standings, but every day that they play, they play hard. And, and you know, with the SEC tournament coming up soon, right now it's, it's – it's crunch time in a sense of you you don't want to make the same mistakes that you've been made, making. Striplin misses a pair of foul shots. Tight contest in the waning moments of the first half. Gerard a step back. Short here. Jackson's been quiet of late. Spin cycle, splitting defenders and drawing the foul. Jackson doing a good job in transition. Was able to split between two defenders. Tough. Tennessee back on top by two. And that's where it stands as Chambers snatches the rebound out of there. Vanderbilt with a minute to go in the first half. Harbison pulls up from the left elbow. Connects. Ten on the shot clock. Passat, a step back, three, air ball. You want that advantage and that momentum to lead you in the second half. Harbison racing all the way to the front court, and she turns it over. 3.4 seconds to go. Miles grabs the inbound. One second, half court shot up. Wide left. So far, they, they're doing good of that. 
Vanderbilt has lost 20 consecutive SEC road games. They're tied at halftime. Harbison, dribble drive. There's Gerard. Keep an eye on those two in the second half. Could be the key to pulling this thing off on the road. Harbison drawing the foul. That was a big story as well in that opening half. The foul trouble for both sides. Tennessee has 13 players that they can rotate. Vandy only has eight. If you're Vanderbilt, you can't afford to foul early on in the game. Harbison misses her second foul shot of the game and make it three. She's 82% this year. She's now three of six at the line. Horston had two fouls in that first half. It's three of four from the floor when she was out there. Jackson. Another fall away jump shot. She hit one of those in the first half and connects here to put Tennessee ahead. Single digits on the shot clock. Washington, good post position. And a foul whistled on LaChance. And that is Bella LaChance's third. Coach Ralph wants to build that trust within even her younger players. She knows that she doesn't have that many she can turn to. Harbison gets open for three, misses it too strong. Tennessee has scored the opening for the half. Stripling, been more active in this game than she has been of late. Horston puts it back with a tip in. Great follow-up by Jordan Horston, but exactly what you said, Michael. They're really looking to get the ball inside to Stripling. Tennessee doing a good job denying the ball, though. Vandy's trying to get those backdoor cuts, and Tennessee's not making it easy for them. Harbison had a good look. Tennessee continues to go under screens against her, but cannot connect. She's now three out of ten from the floor. Tennessee's done a good job of getting the ball inside in the second half. This time, Horston from deep, swirls at home. Vanderbilt. 33% shooting for the game, but Washington with a good blow by. And that puts an end to a 9-0 run. Walker needs to throw this in and just does get it to Holling Shed. Right back to Walker. Good alert pass by the post to Walker for the layup. Great awareness. She was able to hit Jillian Holling Shed, just stepped in. Nobody was there to pick her up. Easy layup from Jordan Walker. Good backdoor cut at the other end, but Harbison misses a layup. She's now three for 12 from the field. Darby, a three-pointer, ripples the rope. Tennessee's ahead by a dozen. Right now is about response for Vanderbilt. Possession by possession. And Chambers puts it down. He saps some of that energy as well off that turtle. Darby gets open in the lane and swishes a shot. She's into double figures after averaging about five a game over the last six. But if you watch that possession, Jillian Holland says set a, a mini screen for Darby to get that open look on the SEC logo. Chambers misses it. Two of nine start to the half. Good bounce pass. Walker, Horston, and one. so important for Vanderbilt because you don't want them to get away too much. You want to reel it back in, apply pressure defensively, switch it up, disrupt Tennessee, and also you, you got to make those easy layups. Chambers, Jada Brown, teardrop, offensive foul. Calling Shed glides to the pop, puts it in, plus one for Jillian Holling Shed. You know, wait for the ball to get them, but she went outside of her area to get it and was able to finish the tough lay. Kelly Harper's final message to her team today was, it's how you do it. And that is exactly the point. It's not necessarily about getting the end result. It's how you go about your business. It's starting to really affect Vanderbilt's offense late in the third quarter. It shows the maturity of Horston as well, becoming a leader for this team as she blocks the shot. 
Here comes Tennessee, full throttle the other way. A pass to Darby and a layup. And a foul whistled on Walker. She got the body into Harbison. She just needs to get that feel of the ball going in. Top 10 among active players and scoring. Closing in on 2,200 as she sinks a pair, 11 now. That's a team high. Puckett breaks the press. Horston was open. She'll glide to the cup for an easy layup. Nobody picked her up. Jordan Horston with 16. Gerard. She's been quiet in the second half. Nearly eternal. Who does get it back? Not a lot of post touches for Washington overall in this game, but you can see what she does when she does get chances. Under a minute to go in the third, and it's been a third frame to remember for the Lady Vols. Franklin pirouetting and drawing a foul. Look, actions really just making it hard for Vanderbilt. They have that size advantage. 46% in the opening period. Since that point, they're eight of their last 29. Gerard. Washington on the block. Tough shot, doesn't get it to go. Eight seconds left, here comes Horston. Down to five as she crosses the timeline. Horston stops, misses the shot attempt. Puckett will not get it back up. And that's how the quarter comes to it. Horston leads the team in everything but points this season. McDonald's All-American has blossomed into a future top 10 WNBA draft pick. Good look underneath. Jackson was open. This is the initial attempt. And it stays with Tennessee after Vandy the last to touch it. Hope you've enjoyed watching with us. Tennessee outscored Vanderbilt by 20 in the third. After it was tied at 38 at halftime, and Horston right on cue drops in another bucket. She's got a game-high 18. Off the bench, Gerard connects. Right now, there's a lot of standing around from Tennessee. They're going to have to make cuts and break down Vanderbilt's defense to get a good look. You know, when you are in SEC play, you're going to have games back to back, and it's going to all be all about how you respond to it. And I think Tennessee's doing a good job. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see them get down for too long. It's hard to come out of that mentally. And you know, the game of basketball in different ways, and that's such a threat for them, and especially going to be a threat for them for the rest of the season. That's what Rakia Jackson does. Tennessee by 18. Gerard's hit back-to-back three-pointers. Tried to find Allen underneath. Vanderbilt asking for a foul, and no whistle there. Seven thirty-nine to play in the game. This was a nip and tuck contest. Seven ties, six lead changes, 38 apiece at halftime. And you can still see Vandy playing hard. They're going to play hard for 40 minutes. They're going to take it down until the clock reaches zero. So Tennessee's just going to continue to have to compete for the rest of this game. Jackson with 19 as she gets second chance points. Tennessee 14-0 leaders in second chance points. Walker. Three on the shot clock. Gerard Walker a block. Walker has Horston. Horston streaking. Traveling violation. Jordan Walker it was a three seconds left on the shot clock. Was able to get that block. I don't think I saw the travel <laughs> in that possession, but you win some, you lose some. Definitely looked good enough to me. Harbison misses the layup. Tennessee leading it by 20 points. Looking to win a 16th in a row to start Kelly Harper's career against in-state opponents. Orston. That is a tough shot. Doesn't get a foul whistled. Hollingshed carves out some real estate. Can't put it back. Now Harbison v. Darby, 1v1. What a crossover wow. from Harbison, but misses another layup. Continues the frustrating day. She's 3 of 17 from the field. Darby, meanwhile, draws the foul. 
very efficient, averages 20 a game, been held to 11 on 3 of 17 in this game, and as you mentioned, she's missed some shots that she normally makes. I think today, though, Tennessee really did a good job of, you know, using their length to their advantage and, and disrupted that play for Harbison. Here is Harbison. Free throw line, jump shot, wide left. Passat, the rebound. What a look from Jordan Walker, her eighth assist. One of the early season keys for Kelly Harper was a high assist team. They have 17 on 30 made buckets in this one. Demi Washington misses the jump shot. Walker, her sixth rebound, and then we get a double foul whistled against Chambers and Hollingshed behind the play. Battling for some space. Hollingshed winds up on the surface. So in a 24-point game, Walker, Hollingshed, buries Chambers, missed the layup though. Jackson does not. Vanderbilt, they know that they couldn't allow Tennessee to get those second chance opportunities today, but Tennessee can't be stopped on the boards. Hollingshed swats the chance. So Tennessee will knew they would get a game back if they could win today from one of those two teams. And it looks like it'll be LSU as the Gamecocks will remain unbeaten, barring a comeback. That Aaliyah Boston and Angel Reese matchup, I'm sure, is going to be incredible <laughs> or is incredible right now. Jackson bobbles the entry pass, able to save it. Under four minutes to go. And Tennessee ahead by 26. Passat, she's got a great stroke from outside. It down. I love the way Justine Passat's shot looks. It, it looks so good. She has so much upside in her game. I'm excited to see how she continues to ball throughout Ten her time at Tennessee. Tennessee outscoring Vanderbilt 43-14 in half two. Chance gets a friendly roll. Her third and fourth points of the day. Hauling Shen, too strong here. Puckett out for Walker. More second chance opportunities for Tennessee. And the fans applauding. Hauling Shen, looked like that could have been an offensive foul. She missed the initial attempt, missed the second chance, and frustrated with herself. She's been playing so well, really stepping up and being an anchor for Tennessee. On the inside. Out with the blood clots in the lungs for the season. Should make a full recovery. Be that kind of coach player from the sideline for the Tennessee's inside game. But yeah, Julie Hollingshed has been playing great basketball. Passat out there with Miles, Wynn, Puckett, and Hollingshed. And it's Puckett on a chuck shot. She's been ultra efficient. 50 seconds to go, 85-56. Lady Falls clamping down defensively in the second half. Demi Washington has already hit one from out there and hits a second. It was two of nine entering today. She's hit two of three in this one. I love the fact that Vanderbilt plays hard until the last second. They still are talking, getting after it, playing solid defense. Win with an offensive rebound. And unless Vanderbilt gets a second chance point on the next possession, it'll be the first time the Tennessee. Second free throw in from Kaya Wynn. Margins at 27 points, 86-59. Shot clock is off. And the chance. Let's see if Vanderbilt dribbles this out or if they go for bucket here. Chance is ready to dribble it out. And on a play for K-Day. In the all pinks, Tennessee wins a sixth straight over Vanderbilt. And in the Commodores, a 21st consecutive SEC road loss. And in camera, you look at this matchup. In the first 20 minutes, it was an absolute battle between in-state teams. Tied at 38 at the break. Tennessee started off the third quarter on a 24-4 run. They pull away for a 27-point.